All right, Shalom. First of all, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, about Shem Yahweh Shai, about Shem Makar Kodash, double honors to our apostles, our elders at GMS, to the elect doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, GMS precepts. There's our chad here. And uh, this is uh, an article from CNBC.com, and you can see the, the title. It says, U.S. credit card debt jumps 18.5%. And hits a record, nine hundred and thirty point six billion, uh, billion, almost a trillion dollars, right? U.S. credit card debt is almost at a trillion dollars, right? Um, total credit card debt, and you know, uh, or what scripture, or or the first scripture I thought of, as as it relates to debt of America and debt in period, right? Um, which this scripture gives us a key. Um, to what the scriptures are. You know what, since I mentioned it, let me get it. Habakkuk. This is Habakkuk, the second chapter. I got it ready, man. Habakkuk 2 and 6, right? Um, Shall not all these take up a proverb against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his, right? So this is speaking about uh, a, a people or a person or a people, right? In in this context, it's speaking about a people. If you would read the whole, um, the whole chapter, it's saying this people. It says woe or destruction unto this people that constantly increases things which is not his, right? Um, which is a big clue. Now, who are the who is the people that increases that which is not his? Takes things that don't belong to him. John 10 and 10 says the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Right? That, that's none other. If you look look throughout history, that's none other than the Edomites. Right? The so-called white man has gone. His whole history consists of him taking on other cultures un, and claiming cultures as his own. Right? Um, even, even how... Um, well, let me let me just I'll just stay on topic. It says, "Woe unto him that increases that which is not his." How long? And here's a point: into him that ladeth himself with thick clay. Right, ladeth himself with thick clay. We know that clay in this scripture. Let's go to Hebrew. Goes back to the word Hebrew word I bought yet, which means weight of pledges or what heavy debts okay heavy debts let's see what laden what well, when he's at his and how long to him that ladeth himself um ka ka kabad kab kabad to be heavy weighty grievous hard rich honorable glorious burdensome honor to be heavy sensible be dull to get one's glory to make heavy make heavy right ladeth himself so he is like he's covering himself with what this debt this I bought yet right I read it again it says he uh, Habakkuk 2 and 6 shall not all these take up a proverb a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say Woe, destruction unto him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. That is speaking about none other than the Edomites, right? This is a, this is an, another article from CNBC. It says 64% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, right? This is real. This is becoming a, a bad situation. U.S. There's another article. U.S. credit card debt jumps 18.5%. And it's a record, nine hundred and thirty point six billion, right? So this is a big clue, right? In this scripture, Habakkuk. Who who is this talking about? Right? Who is this speaking about? Total credit card debt reached a record nine hundred thirty point six billion in the fourth quarter of twenty twenty two, according to the latest credit report from TransUnion. A balance rise so, a balance, 
As balance rise, so have delinquencies, which is something to watch, says TransUnion. So this is a, a result of inflation, right? You have people that aren't able to, right? Since, since what's the other article? Since people are living paycheck to paycheck, they have less expendable income to spend on, right? So instead of, so now what they do is they spend a lot of money on on expensive needs, right? Look at this. Months of high inflation have weighed heavily on households. As of December, 64% of Americans were living paycheck to paycheck, according to a recent lending club report, up from 61% a year earlier and in line with a historic high first hit in March 2020, right? So it, this is becoming a trend. High inflation, um, uh, 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 which inflation is the weakening of the monetary system where the, the the dollar in this case loses its value and you need more of the dollar to pay for certain goods right Let's see here we go for most americans inflation and high interest rates are one to punch on the heels of another rate hike this week, the Federal Reserve credit card annual percentage rates are already near 20% on average and set to climb even higher. At the same time, more consumers are leaning on credit on credit to afford increasingly expensive necessities. Like what? Like what? Like food and rent. Let's see what this article. Consumer prices fell 0.0% in December in line with expectations from economists. Consumer price index, food energy. You see, so all these um, it's 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 a look at this. The average balance rose five thousand eight hundred five dollars over the same period, right? This is the average credit card balance. You see, at nearly twenty percent, if you made minimum pay payments toward this average credit card balance, it would take you more than seventeen years to pay it off. To pay off the debt and cost you more than eight thousand two hundred thirteen dollars in interest. You see, so the look at that. See, so it's it, we're in a bad situation here. Sixty-four percent of Americans in favor was almost half Americans think we're already in a recession. Duh, right? But this is what's going to be to the solution, right? The solution is not how to tackle high interest. The solution is going to be. Um, the end, the end game, which the end game to this whole thing, the destruction of the dollar, destruction of the economy worldwide, the solution to this is going to be the C hip, right? That's what's going to be the solution. Once it's once you understand the the plan, it's easy to just see right through all this. We already know we can skip through all the all the bullshit, and we understand that the end game to this high credit card debt. Right, reaching damn near one billion dollars, um, household, um, what was it? Um, uh, households living, sixty-four percent of households living paycheck to paycheck. The end game to all this is going to be the solution to all this. Also, you had this week the SNAP program, which is um, feeds thousands of families in poverty. That's going to be that's going to be cut off. That's going to be cut off in uh, in March. All that is going to lead to the MOTB. All right. So that's pretty much it. I'll leave these two articles in the description. Lord willing, you brothers and sisters are edified. Until next time, shalom.